I wanted to create a tutorial using just one palette or one palette just for the eyes because I know it can be a little bit annoying sometimes when you watch a tutorial and eyeshadows are from different brands all over the place, different palettes and you don't want to go out and buy four different palettes just to use one, one shade in each palette so I wanted to create a tutorial where you can do, use just one and create this makeup look. So if you'd like to see how I achieved this makeup look then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off by using my MAC Fix Plus. I'm just going to spray that all over my face. Oh, I love this one that stuff. It smells so good. So for foundation today, I'm going to be mixing the uh, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte with the Pro Glow. The Pro Matte I am shade 108 and the Pro Glow I am shade 205. So I've just mixed that together and I'm going to dot it all over my face with the Sigma E50 brush. foundation so on I'm going to move on to concealer and the concealer that I'm using today is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I'm then going to set under my eyes with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and a Sigma F25. I'm 
Okay, before I set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with MAC Paint Pot in the shade of Soft Ochre. And I'm just gonna apply that using the brush that came with the um, Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, I think it was. I also forgot to mention that I have already done my eyebrows because they, they just take so long to do. Um, but you can watch that in one of my previous videos. And I am also going to put up a eyebrow routine for those of you that want to know a little bit more. Once I've put on my paint pot, I'm then going to go in with some more of the Laura Mercier powder and just lightly set that in place. Just going to set it so that when we apply the eyeshadow, it's not just going to stick in patches and it's going to blend more seamlessly. So now back to the rest of my face. I'm going to set all over with the NARS Press Powder in the shade Beach. I'm going to apply that with the Sigma F30 brush. For bronzer today, I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark. And I'm going to apply this with a Eco Tools powder brush. For this makeup look today, I'm only going to be using one palette, which is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I'm so in love with this palette recently, I literally cannot put it down. It has so many beautiful shades in it. So for our transition colour today, I'm going to go in with the shade Smarty Pants, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to take that on a Sigma E40. Make sure to tap off the excess just so we don't apply too much product. And again, like I said in my last video, I'm going to tilt my head backwards as I do have quite hooded eyes. I'm then going to go in with a clean Sigma E40 brush, the same brush as I've just used, and I'm going to go in with the colour Red Bull. Put that more directly in my crease rather than just smoking out of the transition colour.
I'm going to go back in with the Sigma E40 that I used before and a little bit of the shade Smarty Pants and then just blend. So for lid colour today I'm going to go with the shade Firecracker and I'm going to apply that with a Sigma E54. For the colour in the outer V I'm going to go for a mix between the shades Rebel and Leader which are the darkest of the two burgundy shades. And I'm just going to kind of press that on and press it to where I want it to go rather than blending it out straight away. And I'm going to blend that out with my Sigma E40. So for lashes today I'm going to be using my trusty Red Cherry Lashes in the star number 43. I have got this wrong in the past, I kept saying it was number 45. But it's not, it's number 43, now you know. Okay, so while the glue is drying on my eyelashes, I'm going to go in and do the eyeshadow underneath my eyes. I'm going to go in with the shade Smarty Pants, again obviously from the same palette. And this shade was the one that we used as the transition colour first off. I'm just going to buff that underneath my eyes and I'm using the Sigma E45. I'm going to go in with the colour Rebel. I'm going to be applying some black eyeliner today. This one is just the Rimmel Specialise. Precision eyeliner pencil. Just a cheapie, cheapie but a goodie. Cut the lower lash line a little bit more. I'm going to use the Sigma E65 brush, which is just a small angled brush, and I'm going to go in with the colour Leader. And we're going to go right in really tight to the lash line just to make sure we can blend it out as much as possible. I'm 
before I say I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. contour today I'm going to be using the Tarte Pro Glow palette then just taking the Sculpt shade right down here then I'm going to apply that with a Real Techniques brush I'm not sure what this one's called because the name has actually rubbed off but I'll find it and link it below I'm going to be using the MAC blusher and the shade Peaches. We're going to apply that on a Sigma F40. Then for highlighter, I'm going to take the Becca Champagne Pop. And I'm going to apply that with a Real Techniques brush. Again, I don't know which what one this is called because the name is rubbed off. But as I said before, I'll find it and link it below for you. Lip liner, I'm going to use Max Spice Liner. Go over the top of that with the Too Faced Sweet Peach lip gloss. This one is the shade Papa Don't Peach. Can I just say this smells and tastes amazing, like literally so good. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. So as always, thank you all so much for watching. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to press subscribe. And if there is anything in particular that you would like me to film, then please leave me a suggestion in the box below, as all suggestions are welcome. And I do need some new ideas and stuff that you guys would love to see. So I hope you all have a fabulous week, and I've had a lovely weekend, and I will see you next week. <laughs>